Praise the Lord, everyone. God is so good to us. Amen. Today's blog title, Jesus is Jehovah. Also, Logos and Yahweh. You ready to sign the word? All right, let's go. Jesus is the one God. We know that Jesus is the only God. The one God of the Old Testament. Israel knew there was one God. That's why we have the verse, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. That's it. When we have one Lord, that's it. His name is Yahweh. He's perfect. Isaiah 40 and verse 3 says, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Again, here's the other title that you can call him is Jehovah. So that was Isaiah 40 and 3. And then Matthew 3 and 3 says, Say John the Baptist is the fulfillment of this prophecy. John prepared the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. John, he preached salvation and preached to be prepared for the coming of the Lord. Okay? The Bible Bible says there is holy one of Israel that is Jesus yesterday our vlog was about Jesus teaching in the temple and the man with the um, evil spirits cried out to him and speaking to the holy one of Israel and this is this is who they're talking about that is Jesus Isaiah says, speaking of Jehovah, his arm brought salvation, meaning power, of, brought salvation. Look at Isaiah 59, 16, and 53, verses 1 and 2. So this is a little bit of homework for you to study, okay? So Jesus' the Savior is not another God. God is our Savior, right? Is there another Savior? No. Isaiah chapter 43 says, I am the Lord and beside me there is no other Savior. None. Jehovah, again meaning God, in human flesh to come salvation to the world. Praise God. I thank God for our Savior. Yes, I thank you. Yes, I do. There is no other Savior. There's only one. Jehovah is my Savior. He himself became flesh. He and Jesus are the same. When Paul, going on the road to Damascus, and blinding, Light from God. The Bible says God is light. He asked, Who art thou, Lord? Acts chapter 9, verse 5 is where this comes from. As a Jew, he knew there was only one God and Lord. Hear, O Israel, 
the Lord our God is one Lord. So when you hear Jehovah, that's talking about the Lord, that's talking about God. Who art thou, Jehovah? Remember, Paul was against the Christians, and he was he was going about destroying and killing them. And so he reminded on the road to Damascus, and he answered, "Who are Jehovah?" The Lord answered, "I am Jesus. Praise God. Amen. He is my God. Amen." Okay, let's go to the next. So, we just went over some Old Testament. Now let's look at the New Testament. Jesus is Almighty. Jehovah Almighty, Jesus is Almighty. Does this mean they're separate from the Old Testament? Oh, let's get rid of that. Let's we have a New Testament here. It's the same. God created everything. The universe, He created Adam and Eve. God knew they would fail. So He became the second or the last Adam. Amen to the New Testament here. Jehovah, I am. Exodus 3, 14 through 16. And Jesus, I am. In John 8 and 58. Again, we're signing the words. We're going to follow it here. It says, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was. So again, before Abraham was even born and grew into a man, before Abraham after Abraham was born and lived a good life, before that happened, Jesus was. He says, was I am. Jehovah is rock. You can look at Psalms 18, verse 2, or Psalms 28, verse 1. And then we have Jesus is rock in 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 4. Meaning there's two separate rocks. We have a Jehovah and a Jesus rock. Okay, we've learned about Jehovah. Let's get rid of that and let's turn over to Jesus here. Are they separate? No, they're exactly the same. They're talking about the same person. So remember, in the Old Testament, they, they heard about Jehovah. And in the New Testament, they got to walk about with Jesus. Now we have Jesus' is horn of salvation, Psalms 18 and 2. Jesus is horn of salvation in Luke 1 and 69. They're exactly the same. We sign the word. We follow exactly because this is truth. Whatever, whenever we open it and what we read, we've got to believe it. We have Jehovah is shepherd in Psalms 23 and 11. In Isaiah 40, 10 through 11. In the New Testament, we have Jesus is the good shepherd, great shepherd, chief shepherd. Okay. 
Does this mean that Jehovah, oh, he was good, but Jesus is better than Jehovah? No, they're exactly the same. Jehovah, Jesus is Jehovah in the human flesh. That is Yahweh in the human flesh. You can go look at John chapter 10, verse 11, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20, and 1 Peter 5 and 4. Jehovah is king of glory. Psalms 24, 7 through 10. And Jesus is the Lord of glory. 1 Corinthians 2 and 8. This is talking about the same person. Not two kings. No. They're exactly the same person. Jehovah is light. Remember Paul being blinded on Damascus Road. Because God is light. God, Jehovah, Jesus, they're not separate. They're the same person. And in Psalms 27 and 1, and Isaiah 16, verse 19. And then you can find Jesus' light. John 1, 4 through 9, John 8 and 12, Revelations 21 and 23. These are things for you to study. Jehovah is salvation. Psalms 27 and 1, Isaiah 12 and 2. Jesus is only salvation, Acts 4, 10 through 12. Let's look at that one. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. There is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Who is this talking about? It's talking about Jesus. The world has different false doctrines that don't save you. Jesus and anything under the name of Jesus is the only way to be saved. Remember, God is a spirit. Jehovah in the spirit, er, in the flesh. Praise God. Now we have Jehovah is Lord of Lords. In Psalms 136 and 3. Jesus is Lord of Lords. In Revelations 19 and 16. There is no conflict here. There's no separate ones. They are the same. We learn about the spirit of Jehovah, and he comes in and the fleshly body and is known by Jesus. They're exactly the same. Jehovah is holy one. Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 6. Jesus is holy one. Again, is there two holy ones? Three holy ones? No, there's one. Jehovah is the same. Again, the Old Testament knew of Jehovah, the spirit of Jehovah. And when we go into New Testament, it doesn't mean that the Old Testament fades away. God is everlasting. He never fades away. He never changes. There's one Lord, and his name is Jesus. Praise God. Jehovah is lawgiver. Isaiah 33 and 22. Jesus is the tester of the first testament, the law, and that is in Hebrews 9, 14 through 17. So the Old and the New Testament are not given differently and tell you different things. They're, they're telling you the same exact thing. Jehovah is judge, Isaiah 33 and 22, Acts 10 and 42. Jesus is judge. Micah 5 and 1. Jehovah is the first and the last. You can find that in Isaiah 41 and 4, 44 and 6, and 48 and 12. Jesus is Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, first and the last. That's in Revelations 1 and 8, 22 and 13. 
they're talking about the same as that person. There can't be a first and last and someone in between. It's like running a race in the Olympics. You have several runners and one will be first and one will be last. And it says here, first and last, meaning both. There's no one in between. Praise God. Jesus is Jehovah. Jesus is God. Jehovah is only Savior. Isaiah 43 and 11, 45, 21, and 60 and 16. Jesus is Savior. Titus 2 and 13. So Jehovah the Savior, Jesus the Savior, they're the same exact person. Jehovah is manifested in the flesh, known by Jesus. Jehovah is giver of spiritual water, Isaiah 44 and 3 and 55 and 1. Jesus is giver of living water. You can find that in John 4, 10 through 14, 7, 38 and 39. Praise God. Jehovah is king of Israel, Isaiah 44 and 6. Jesus is king of Israel, king of kings, found in John 1, 49 and Revelations 19 and 16. Jehovah is the only creator, Isaiah 44 and 24, 45 and 8, 48 and 13. Jesus is creator of everything, John 1 and 3, Colossians 1 and 16. Hebrews 1 and 10. It says, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or powers, principalities all things were created by him and for him Jehovah's only just God Isaiah 45 1 Jesus is the just one here they're preaching one God. And many were stoned because they preached about the one God. Jehovah is Redeemer. Isaiah 45, 5, 16, 16. Jesus is Redeemer. Galatians 3 and 13. Revelations 5 and 9. Praise God. Jesus is Jehovah. Hallelujah. I love you all and God bless you.